Ciao friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to make the yellow square. It is Wednesday, so we're making our Harry Styles sweater squares from J.W. Anderson. Today is yellow square day. And remember, I am not a knitter. The pattern that J.W. Anderson made is a knitting pattern. So I just looked at a picture. I think it was just on Pinterest. Pinterest, Instagram, you can find pictures of Harry Styles wearing this really cool sweater. So I just looked at one of the pictures and went, Okay, if I was going to make a square that looked like that, what stitch would I use? We're going to do a Suzette. It's interesting, has a little bit of texture, but it's very, very simple, and I think you're going to like it. And I try to make this as easy as possible, because you could go kind of crazy on some of these and make them really hard. I'm just trying to make them easy. So let's get started on the yellow square. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! I'm using... Big Twist Value from Joann's, and it's really soft. It's a, there's a lot of yarn on here. You're going to like this very much. It's really, really soft. It's a four weight. This is what we're making today. And remember, five and a half by six and a half. It's not quite a square. It is a rectangle. And I am using different hooks, either a four or a five hook, depending on the stitch, to get the proper width and I'm starting everything out with a chain of 20 and a single crochet of 19 just so that they're easy peasy for everyone to connect when we get to that point you will be very excited if they're easy to connect so everything is 19 here the sides are not going to be the same but you're always going to have one base row and the top row that you'll be able to do just fine varsity yellow from big twist Let's get started. So we're just going to do a, our little slip knot. Five millimeter hook for this one. Five millimeter. This is my prim. I love this. This is one of my babies. And we're going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Chain those a little loosely because we're going to be working into these little back bumps. You take your chain and you turn it over and right back here you see these little bumps. So you can see it really looks like a chain. We're going to be working into those and if you make your chain too tight, it makes it a little bit difficult. But then in every one of these little back bumps all the way down, we're going to do a single crochet. So you'll end up with a chain of 20. You will end up with 19 single crochets in the back bumps. And this does take a little bit longer to get those little back bumps, but it is worth it. It makes a very nice finished edge. And you're going to like that part. It's going to be very important when it's time to connect all these squares and make that super cool cardigan if it's easy to connect. And there's number 18. And my last one, back bump number 19. There we go. There's our base row. That's the base for every one of our rectangles. I did that on purpose to make this as beginner friendly as possible. Because I know that there's a lot of new crocheters out there that want to start making patchwork things. And this is the easiest way to do it is with a, a simple stitch. You're going to learn something new. This is my Suzette stitch. To start a Suzette, we're going to chain one, turn our work. In the very first place right here, very first stitch. We are going to do a single crochet and a double crochet in that same stitch. We'll skip the next stitch right here. Skip that guy and go over here and do a single and a double in that stitch. Skip the next stitch, single and a double skip, single, and a double. There's my single, and there's a double. Do that all the way down until you get to your last stitch. And here's my almost last stitch. It's a single, and there's the double. And you can see we have two stitches left. There's one here, and there's my very last stitch. We're going to skip this one and go to the last stitch, but our last stitch, when we're doing Suzette in rows, is just a single crochet. That keeps our stitch count proper. 
keeps it accurate. So just a single crochet. So that was row one. Chain one, turn your work and do the exact same thing again. A single and a double and a skip all the way down. Skip to stitch, single and a double and a skip and I will meet you at the end and almost to the end there's a single and a double and remember our very last stitch to keep our stitch count we skip this stitch and our very last stitch is a single crochet only and that's all there is to a Suzette stitch it's just a little bit of texture it's fun and it resembles the yellow square of his sweater. All right, so we just did our base row and then we did two passes of Suzette. What you want is 17 passes of Suzette. So when you get to 17, I will meet you right back here as we're almost done. So I'll meet you when I get all 17 of my Suzette rows done. And all right, there's my last single and a double. And then we're going to skip this stitch, go to our last stitch single crochet. So there's my 17 rows of Suzette. Now we want to make a nice finished edge that matches this finished edge. So chain one, turn your work and single crochet all the way down. 19 single crochets, one in each stitch. Almost done. Last stitch. And then you just finish off and pull it through. And we're done. And it's going to be approximately five and a half or by approximately six and a half. So there you go. And according to the JW Anderson pattern, even though it's knit, the square count will still count, will still be accurate. You want 18, 18 of these squares. Make your 18 squares and meet me back here next week for the next color. I already did orange. Here's yellow. We've still got three more to go. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.